Hey everybody, welcome back um, to another edition of Behind the Bar. Uh, we are episode 10, or review number 10. I don't want to call them episodes, so beer review number 10. Um, tonight we're going to do something that uh, was actually requested to me about a week and a half ago, two weeks. So uh, I'm going to do a beer from uh, New Belgium. Um, Eric's Ale, which is um, a newer release beer in the last month from them. Um, it's a <clears throat> sour beer, peach, part of their Lips of Faith series. Um, Lips of Faith series beers for me are pretty hit or miss, uh, but this one I really enjoyed when they released it um, I don't know, four or five years ago, and they haven't released it since. So, um, pretty typical Lips of Faith bottle. But uh, the description, Eric says it's best. This is a sour beer for those who don't like sours, and a fruit beer for those who don't like fruit beers. Um, more hypothesis on what age beers on NewBelgium.com. So, um, anyways, we're gonna give it a shot and pop it open. Um, first behind the bar, swag has been um, created. It's a custom bottle opener that I'm gonna use for reviews. Hopefully, it holds up. And uh, yeah, pretty sweet little swag item. That to it's uh, part of the channel now. So big fan of this. It was a big deal. So, anyways, let's go ahead and pull this out into our new Belgium glass. Pours kind of exactly um, how you would think it would. Pretty hazy beer. You do get some light through that. About a finger um, of uh, just bright white head on that. Um, really good lacing already. Big, big soapy bubbles on this one. But pretty hazy. Looks like, I don't know, honestly, it looks like peach juice. Um, for a peach jar, I guess that's kind of a good thing. But um, yeah, really good looking beer. So let's, uh, let's see what it smells like. <sighs> Oh yeah, just kind of exactly, I mean, it's exactly as it's described and kind of what you'd think it would be. It's it's big, and you definitely get peach like that, just raw, juicy peachness. Um, you would get just like a fresh squeezed peach or just like something that's like overly ripe, just like juicy, mushy peach. It smells like that. Almost like a little bit of Brett Funk uh, in that. You do get a little bit of the oak, I think, from the barrel. Um, definitely getting a little bit of oak. And maybe even a little bit of the lacto <clears throat> from the sour aspects of it, but um, I mean the head's already very much completely gone on that. But definitely a good smelling beer, not overly powerful on the nose. I kind of expected a little bit more peach, but still, a, still a good nose. Um, let's see how it tastes. Cheers, guys. Wow, that's really good. Um, I get the description, a sour for people that don't like sours and a fruit beer for people that don't like fruit beers or think they don't like fruit beers. Um, big lacto, just kind of sourness right up front, but it kind of goes away really quick. It doesn't really linger. Um, it's not overly tart throughout. And then the peaches kind of come in and take over. You definitely get that peach juiciness that I got on the smell. Um, the oak characteristics definitely there. You can definitely taste the barrel on this one. I'm even picking up a little bit vanilla um vanilla in this definitely um it's very similar to a beer i had um that the brewery did uh sour rento i believe was the one that they did with like lime and vanilla that one had a lot of vanilla and it kind of like a creamy vanilla i'm getting a smidge of that in this it's kind of what it popped into my head that it reminded me of but yeah not i mean it's not huge it's not like a to compare it to a look like a, another new belgian beer it's not like lawfully puckering sour or even La Terrier, if I pronounce that right, or even their, it's more kind of on the sourness level of their Creek beer, Transatlantic Creek. Um, but yeah, it's really good, really easy drinking. This will be a great, like, after mowing kind of beer. Um, it's it, it definitely is refreshing. It, I like this, the sourness, I like the peach note. I'll be honest with you though, I have actually had this beer on tap at the Beer Taste in Kansas City, and then I actually had it at a beer festival in Indianapolis this last weekend. Um, and there, it was much, the peach was much more pronounced and like almost just like creamier peach juice. Um, but I also was getting the bottom of the keg though, so I think that probably had played a role of it. So maybe as I get through this bottle, it'll play out the same. But yeah, great, great beer. I mean, I, I dig this. I definitely dig this. I would drink this. You know, if it's on tap somewhere, I could definitely see myself ordering this again. Really solid. Um, for me, the other thing is that this is a 7% beer, and I would have no idea. This is like drinking like a 5% Weezer, 
you know, a lower ABV sour. I mean, this is really well made and really balanced. Um, I dig it. I mean, it's not my favorite sour I've ever had. I mean, for them, I like Lawfully a little better, but I like my sours a little more tart. This is really good. Great balance, great peach. If you like peaches, you'll like this beer. So, I did look up beer advocate rating on this is 92, I believe. 92 or 93. Um, and that's pretty close for me. Probably 93, 94 is where I'd go with this. Probably 93. Um, it's it's solid. It's definitely worth drinking. Um, if you see it out in the stores, uh, 13.99, a little pricey. Um, but it's still really good. I mean, it's worth drinking. If you see it on tap somewhere and, you, and you're, you know, want something that's really refreshing, has good flavor, and want to try a sour. If you're not into sours, give this a shot. I mean, you might be surprised if you think, oh my god, I just can't take, like, the sourness of something like Love Child, like, four or something like that. It's not like that. This is, this got a little bit of lacto up front. You definitely get that hit of sourness, but then it just kind of goes away and goes into the peaches and the oak and all that. It, it's great. I like it. Um, like I said, low A, A minus kind of beer. And, uh, yeah, I, I dig it. So, yeah, that's where I'll go with the rating. Um, pick it up. I, this is available locally in Kansas City. I picked this up uh, just a couple days ago. So, uh, about a week ago, actually. So, it's, I mean, it's out there. I've seen it on shelves this week, actually, when I was looking around some places. Not readily, but, I mean, it's definitely out there. If you go to some stores that typically keep things around a little longer, um, you'll definitely find it around town. So, if you want to give it a shot, pick it up. Um, but, yeah, I appreciate uh, you guys stopping by, um, coming behind the bar with me. And uh, that's our review for today. So um, if you like what you see, please subscribe. We're up to, I don't know, almost 20. I don't know. I didn't even think I'd get that many. So I'm um, getting a lot of reviews. The last couple of videos I've done, I've definitely had a lot more views. We're over 100 and 150 on, uh, on one of them. So um, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like the, the feedback that I'm getting. I like the communication. I mean, this re beer review was done because somebody requested it. So um, I want to keep doing stuff like that. Um, next beer, we're probably going back out of the market. I got a Noble Works beer that I want to review, and I'll do that sometime this week. Uh, tongue Lasher, I believe is what it's called. No, Tongue Tickler. Tongue Tickle. I don't know, something weird like that. It's a little play on words. But uh, anyways, I got that from Joe, so look for that one next. But uh, yeah, like I said, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and uh, cheers. Cheers.